Good morning, Scorpios. How are you, cutie pies, doing this week? It is a brand new week. First week officially of spring. So isn't that exciting? It's all about new beginnings. I did, um, so far I did, what did I do? Capricorn and Aries. And it's just, a, it's even in the readings, it's, it's about new beginnings. So I love it. Leaving the past shit in the past. Some of you start new businesses, new relationships. And let me tell you, Scorpio, you were all up in their readings. You really were. So much Scorpio going on. It's like, what is this? Scorpionic energy? You will be seen if, if you like it or not. You are featuring front and center. So I thought I might as well do Scorpio's reading, see what's going on with them. So if you are a Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, <clears throat> welcome. I'm glad to have you. If you're not a Scorpio and watching for a Scorpio, just feel like being a Scorpio today, resonating as one, same. I'm glad you're here. Really am. Pull up a stool and tell me your story, Scorpio. I want to know. I want to know what was going on. I am today using this lovely Mystic uh, Tarot of the Mystical Moments deck. It's a lovely deck. It's so pretty, but it's quite big for my hands. No dirty jokes. No dirty jokes, Scorpio. We know how you are. Okay, I'm going to do a nine-card Celtic spread and to get the, the general energy for the week. So let's hear it. What is going on with the Scorpios? What is it? Well, it is the Knight of Pentacles reverse. You guys dealing with a Virgo? A Virgo who is just not doing shit, who's stalling shit. What's going on? The Knight of Pentacles reverse is coming in. What's challenging that? What is challenging the Knight of Pentacles reverse? Yep, Knight of Cups. Two Knights, Scorpio. It sounds like you have a story to tell. You're dealing with two cups. One, one moving forward and the other one eh, dragging their feet dragging their feet, but these both can be you. It really could be you. Um, just real quick, the Knight of Pentacles reverse, if this is about you, this is letting negative expectations get the better of you. Um, this is, you know, a Knight of Pentacles upright. He's very methodical. He's very patient. What he's manifesting, he's, he takes the time to do it carefully, to do it right. When it's reversed is getting caught up in the energy of negative expectations, thinking everything's going to go bad. It's not going to work out being impatient, things like that. What's challenging that is the Knight of Cups, something new, something passionate. So if this is just you, this is you guys worrying about a new endeavor not working out, basically, okay? Again, you guys could be dealing, <laughs> you very well could be dealing with a, um, a Pisces and a, a Virgo. That's definitely possible, but and if you are, I wanna know. I wanna know that story. Okay, reason for the reading? Why are we here today, kids? Why is it? Well, it's the Eight of Swords. Again, see? Just like that Knight of Pentacles reverse. You guys are all stuck up in your heads, aren't you? You guys are worrying about things you don't even need to be worrying about. And he's he's even got wings. He's got, He could get out of that cage anytime, right? We all know that, what the Eight of Swords is about. But he's choosing to sit in this, this, uh, this energy into these mental thoughts. Yeah, he can leave these mental thoughts at any time, but for some reason he wants to sit in it. Literally sit in it. Feeling like he's trapped in a bird cage, a bird cage. He's trapped in a bird cage, but it's open. He can fly away anytime. Nothing's keeping him there but him. What's the recent past for the Scorpios? Page of Swords. Ooh, I like that. The Page of Swords is the sharpest person in the deck. They really are. They research the shit. The Page of Swords really should be, I always feel like that should be Virgo energy because Virgos love to research. You want to find out about someone, you go to a Virgo. But the Page of Swords, that's what they do. They're they're studying, they're learning. They're If this is about a new path, you know, you guys are really studying on it, researching it, you know, how to make a business plan or how, or how you know, you know. If this is a relationship, maybe you're just doing a little bit of stalking online or somebody could be stalking you online. It is the stalker card. Okay, what's on Scorpio's mind? What is it? Ooh, Justice Libra. You want to see fairness, equal give and take, the major arcana, arcana of the Six of Pentacles. It's just what you give in, you expect the same out. So I like it. In this new situation, you just, you want, you're not asking for more than what you're putting in. You just want back what you are putting in at the very least.
but you, if this is a business partnership, it's not like you're going to enter into like silent. I just don't feel this would be like a silent party kind of situation where somebody, you know, you know, it's like, yeah, 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 we're in it together. And then they kind of leave you, you know, doing all the work and making all the decisions and paying all the bills and same thing with a relationship. But yeah, we'll get there. Uh, near future for the Scorpios. Tell me what is the near future for them in this reading. Ace of Cups reverse. No longer um, giving your cup to someone else. Hmm. Very interesting. You know why I like this Celtic spread is there is a reading within the reading. When you when you read across, it tells a very more even more specific story. So in the past, we have the Page of Swords. Maybe you saw something online which led into on this Knight of Pentacles reversed and the Knight of Cups. So it's kind of like, and then that leads to like a, you know, taking your love away, taking your cup away, being no longer emotionally available to the situation. So maybe you guys found something online. Maybe somebody wrote in and wrote you lovely poems and told you lovely things. But in reality, they are stalling the shit. And maybe they made you think that there was going to be a long-term investment and they were kind of knight of cupsing. I mean, the knights are in and out, you know. They're, they're not, they're not long-term energy. But they could be passionate. They could be fun. They can make you feel good. But they can make you really feel bad when you find out that they might be doing it to other people. And the knight of cups is very dreamy, very romantic, but not the most dependable. Especially with that Nine of Pentacles reversed. That's somebody who talks a good game but doesn't really invest. If this is love, if this is love, and leading into the near future, we got the Ace of Cups reversed. That's you taking your cup back, taking that love back, pulling out of this emotionally. Okay, how do you see yourself, Scorpio? How do you see yourself? Ooh, Nine of Cups. And realizing you can do it all by yourself. You are probably, you probably make good money all on your own. You um, lead a fulfilled life. You probably have friends. You pay your own bills, have your own place. Could be a single parent. You re A relationship should, and you know, a relationship is a bonus. It's not the end all be all. And if you have one, that's great. If you don't have one, that's equally great. You have your own cups. You have your own cups, yeah. And candlesticks, apparently. Is that what she's holding? No, those are chess pieces. I think that's interesting, like as in a fan. Huh, that's interesting. I'm going to have to stare at that card later. I, that's why I love this deck, the imagery. Every time you look at it, it tells a different story by these images. Okay, what is the energy coming towards you, Scorpio? You don't see coming. This could be energy you're going to get in, or it could be somebody coming towards you. Oh, Seven of Swords reversed. Huh, so we got the Page of Swords in the past and the energy that you don't see coming. So if this is a relationship that fell apart, it's going to be revealed to you. I think it's like kind of re going back to the scene of the crime kind of thing. See, in, the, in this card, if you guys can see this, do you see this? It's a snake, but she's covered up in flowers. So it, it looks it looks pretty, but beneath she's a snake. And she's holding on to her egg while she's abandoning the other four on the ground. Those could be people. She's only worried about her own self-interest. She's not worried about your investment you know, which is on the ground. It's about her own investment. And she, you know, covers up her stink with flowers. Yeah, that's really interesting. Very interesting, but it's reversed. This is past energy I'm feeling, but it could be coming back. Or what I'm feeling like, maybe this energy that you were dealt with is that person may not be coming back, but this could just be you finding out the truth. Even though the Ace of Swords isn't out here, I feel like you you truly finding out what this person is. Maybe you see something online and they're, whatever you know they did with you, you see them kind of doing to other people. This could be love, business, investment. It could really be for anything. You know those kind of people. You know those kind of people. Shady energies. What is in your emotions, Scorpio? Let's see what's in your emotions. Yeah, Eight of Cups reverse. Well, you're not moving forward with this energy. We're going to clarify before I talk too much on that. It's it, Eight of Cups, as you know, it's kind of being stuck in your emotions. Being stuck. Not, maybe not physically. I'm not. The cups are emotions and it's water. Um, physically, I think you guys are out of it. I do. Or you're getting out of it, whatever it is. So Eight of Cups is just you closing off, 
like with the Ace of Cups is closing off emotionally. Eight of Cups, you might be closed off emotionally. No longer given to it, but yeah, emotionally you're still there. Maybe, I hope you're not, if this, whoever this is resonating for, I hope you're not beating yourself up. I hope you're not beating yourself up. Because if somebody did, like a Seven of Swords did something to you, they are manipulative and they know what they're doing. It's, don't, don't beat yourself up for falling into it. They're just really good at what they do. What is in the outcome for the Scorpios? Well, it's the Two of Pentacles. Getting your balance back, getting your money back. And I love she's got an infinity symbol above her head. It's She, she knows that whatever choice she makes, because twos are about choices and decisions, but this is, Pentacles are investments and it's her investment. This isn't, we're not talking about somebody else's investment in the outcome. This is Scorpio's investment into your future. This is, you're only going to, act from now on invest into things that are going to benefit scorpio from now on that is what i'm getting with it yes so let's clarify with the golden tarot let's see what is the Knight of pentacles reverse and the knight of cups does somebody play with my scorpio's heart what is this knight of pentacles reverse and the knight of cups what is it who do i need to beat up who do i need to beat up for scorpio yeah, again, the Seven of Swords reverse, guys. And it's in a linear line if I actually could put tarot cards together the right way. This is a linear story. And it's, and tarot's already layering it to, to, to strengthen it. So you guys really, the message really gets out there for someone. This, you are dealing with a shady-ass character. You got the Knight of Pentacles reverse means somebody made you feel like you can invest in them because they probably said all the right things with that Knight of Cups. They said all the right things, but they were a seven of swords. And it's reversed because it's past. This is you finding out. This is you finding out, probably maybe by watching them do it to someone else. I'm getting that strongly, and I don't know why. I don't even know how you would see it, if it would be on social media or what. But that's what I'm getting really strongly here. Yeah, six of pentacles reversed. They, they were never going to give you, they were never going to give what you thought they were going to give in this situation. And don't beat yourself up. Really don't beat yourself up with the Eight of Cups reversed. Don't do it because this is what they do. This is what this is just what they do. And maybe they're they're meant to do this uh, shady shit. So you unfortunately can learn a very tough lesson about boundaries. You from moving forward, I feel like even though like the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords isn't out here, this is you from now on moving forward with the Two of Pentacles. You're going to put some strong as boundaries up. You're going to ask some good questions. You're not going to just trust people with a Knight of Cups and they're going to talk a good game. And you're like, they probably, they look good. So I probably could trust them. They drive a nice car. So they probably have money to invest with them. I, I don't, this really opened your eyes to how seedy the world can be. That's what I'm feeling. And now you're in the Eight of Swords. You guys are in the Eight of Swords and the Eight of Cups. Reverse, just in your thoughts. In your thoughts, why is that? What's going on in the Page of Cups? <sighs> yeah, somebody offered you something that they couldn't deliver on. If this is, if, if another storyline I'm getting this for another group of you, maybe you went through this in the past. Just, I, it popped in my head, so I'm gonna say it. Maybe you, what I'm talking about already happened to you, and so this is like another timeline of Scorpios. This is after heartbreak. This is you worried about moving forward. There's something you really want to accomplish and set out and start. And maybe you're just a little worried about, you know, it failing or not working out. If it's a relationship, maybe you're going to afraid that they're, you know, going to lie to you like the last one did. And so you're just a little nervous about taking this opportunity because look at the bottom of the Ten of Swords. But, and we have temperance healing that, getting your balance back after that. But I just wanted to say that I feel like there's two groups here going on. There's a group where this could be about a new relationship and about a new job and just fear of moving forward into that unknown. To others, you have just gotten mind fucked. I'm sorry. There's no other word for it. I'm sorry. That was brash. I know. That was brash for a Monday morning. I accept that. But is there a word as, is there a phrase as powerful as that? For this reading i don't think so that's what this feels like it is and again eight of cups reversed tarot is just throwing out the same cards from different decks 
That page of cups puts you in the eight of cups reversed. Put you in emotional um, paralysis, analysis, analysis, paralysis. Yeah, eight of swords, eights, eights, eights. We've got a lot of eights going on here. Page of swords in the recent past. What does Scorpio find? Because we know you Scorpios also like to research. We know how you are. We know how you are. Don't mess with the Scorpio. Four of wands. Why am I getting a marriage? Ooh, four of wands. I'm getting strongly. Maybe you found out the person was married. Or maybe you found out your spouse was cheating. Wow. You thought you had that four of wands with them. You thought you had this. You th or if this was somebody you were dealing with, like a third party, you know, unbeknownst to you, you thought they were going to lead to the four of wands, but they already had a foundation somewhere else. They did. Yeah, queen of cups. That's a married queen. That is water, more water, huh? That, wow, that's, that took my breath away, really. Queen of Cups. I'm getting married. Did you find out somebody was married? And have, oh, that's creepy. That, oh my God. And a King of Cups, there you are. Oh, this is painful. Oh, yeah. We got a perfect match here. King and Queen of Cups and a Four of Wands on the Page of Swords. Is that what you found out? That's icky. That's really icky. Okay, moving on, because that's icky energy. Justice. Yeah, and justice is marriage, right? On your mind? Oh, this is what you thought. Maybe I think of relationships and marriage. Maybe that's what you thought you were going to get, and now that's all you want. <laughs> you want justice. You want to go for blood with that sword. Yeah, ten of swords reverse. You're still in it. You're still emotionally there. Eight of, two eight of cups reverse, the eight of swords, and the ten of swords reverse. You guys are emotionally still in that turmoil. I think of, I think some of you want payback. You will, you, yeah, you want payback somehow, some way. Just be careful with that, Scorpio. I am getting that for some of you out there. You want your payback. You want to see them fall and gloriously bad. Fall bad. Okay. What is this? Ace of Cups reversed? Yeah. That is you closing off to the situation. Why? Well, yeah, look at that. King of Swords reversed. How many kings do we have going on here? Why are you closed off? Because this person is not an honest character. King of Swords reversed is also speaks of... Um, a mentally imbalanced, mentally ill, like men mental mental illness. That's what I'm looking for. So whoever you're dealing with, you probably, a king of swords upright is very fair. He's not an emotional king. I mean, even the butterflies behind him are cement showing he's not emotional, but he's very fair. He's very balanced. He makes very clear decisions. This is like, this is the lawyer or the CPA, you know, they're, they're going to be fair, but don't, don't think they're going to like, you can hang out with them. There's just not someone you would hang out with. Reverse. This is an asshole. Clear and simple. This is somebody who is not good with their words. They're not clear headed. They suffer probably from paranoia, from anxiety, from depression, and they act out of that and with very harsh, harsh words. Could even be bipolar. I, I'm not a doctor, so I shouldn't be throwing all this out there, but this is just what I'm feeling from this card. Very emotionally imbalanced you were dealing with. So this is what I'm going to say. If, if this is your story, count your blessings. This was painful. Hopefully this is in the past. Count your blessings. You know, what? What's, this wasn't meant for you. And I feel like you had some major divine intervention step in and break this shit up. Because if you would have set on this path, they this could have destroyed your life or, or destroyed your life for a while. Like this is a person who's like, did you guys ever see Dirty John? Do, do you know what I'm talking about, Dirty John? That's what I'm getting off this card. This is two seven of swords reverse, the king of swords reverse, married, their six of pentacles. They were probably scamming, taking your money, taking your love, taking your energy. Take, 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 take. Count your blessings. Really. God's protection, rejection is God's protection. Really, 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 I'm getting that. Guys, I know to heal, you're gonna be in the Eight of Cups reverse and the Eight of Swords, I get that. Don't stay there too long. This is, whoever I'm reading for, this is not your fault. You were dealing with a professional here, a professional scam asshole. That's what this is. 
This is awful. This is, this is awful, Scorpio. Oh my God. Nine of Cups is how you see yourself, though. Away from the situation. Away from the situation. This is who you are. Self-reliant. You have money. You have, you have um, character. I'm getting good character with this. People like you. People love you. People look up to you. What are you? Don't mess. Don't you. This is messing around with someone else's karma. This is you separating from their karma. And it's like, don't mix karmas because it's like, Gosh, let's just say, if you believe in reincarnation, the best way I can explain this is, this could have been you many lives ago, many lives ago. And to right these wrongs, you probably had to live lives to right these wrongs, to learn these lessons. Let's just say this was eight lives ago. We got a lot of eights, okay? This, you already learned these lessons. And maybe it is so familiar to you these kind of people because you once were them let's say 800 years ago or something you know i'm just throwing numbers out here but this is just how i'm feeling it i, I might be interpreting it bad but this is what i'm getting this was you a long time ago if this is like a past life reading this is what i would say this was you a long long time ago lifetimes ago and it, this makes you feel comfortable because this was once you and you feel like you can save these people. You can save these people from their own karma. You can save these people from, you know, give them a hand up. But you can't live other people's lessons. Stick to your own ring. Don't fall down a ring because of somebody else's bad karma. Let them learn their own lessons, Scorpio. Let them learn their own mistakes. God, universe, whatever you want to put, put, that, put these challenges in their lives you can't right their wrongs. That is not, you need to focus on your Knight of Cups because you have a good. Don't, this is a gift. Your life is a gift. It really is. You learn because you learn those lessons. You got to this higher place. Don't be playing in lower energies. Long story short, it's a high vibrational relate person playing around with a low vibrational person. Stay in your own lane. You don't don't take on other people's karma. I don't know why I got off into that tangent, but I felt if, if it's in my head, I got to say it. I got to say it. it's for someone. Okay, tell me about the Nine of Cups here. Give me a card for the Nine of Cups. Yeah, death reversed. That's you, Scorpio. That's you. You know, you know what this is. You know what you went through. You know what lesson it is. But you're not ready to take that lesson moving forward and put in the past in the past. You're not because you probably want justice. I'm getting that really strongly. You're like, uh-uh, I'm not going to let this one go. Somehow, some way, that person's going to pay. Scorpio, be careful, though, with that. Okay, one more card on the death reversed. Yeah, nine, but nine of swords reversed. I like that. That's getting over. We got the nine of cups and the nine of swords. We're moving on from the eights to the nines in this reading. In the, the main spread, it was eights. In the clarifying, it's nines. That's a good sign. That's a really good sign. So nine of swords reverse. No longer losing sleep over this situation. Moving from hurt into anger. You know all the state rings of grief and breakup and loss. Pretty soon you'll get into emotional neutral and you just really won't care anymore. But you won't let that kind of person affect you anymore. Speaking of that, Seven of Swords reverse and the energy coming back. Could be the universe and it could be, a, this could have happened in the past and the universe is going to throw another type of dirty John your way and say, but did Scorpio really learn their lesson? Let's just, let's test the, them out. That could be something like that or you could, this also could be you learning. Yeah, Five of Pentacles reverse. You're not going to have it. You're not investing in it. You're not feeling bad about it. You're going to reject them feeling pretty damn good because you're the Nine of Cups. Five of Pentacles reversed. You're, you're, you got your self-confidence back. Let's see. One more on that. Yeah, Page of Swords. And what I'm getting with this card, with the Page of Swords, is any situation, business or love, romantic, whatever it is, that you will get into the future, this is you researching the shit out of it. If this is, if this is a person, you are going to be, you are going to Google the hell out of them, check their social media, check, you know, you, you're going to pull any record you can. It, ask people, whatever. You're just not going to jump into it. Okay, I could be being overly dramatic. I get that. But basically, you're just not going to jump head like foolishly into something. Okay, Eight of Cups reversed in their emotions. Why is the Eight of Cups reversed? Seven of Cups. 
because you, somebody confused you. Somebody, I mean, maybe you thought you were their ace of cups and then at some point you saw something online. And I'm like, oh, what are these six other cups doing here? <laughs> Who are these six other people? What's, wait, 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 wait. What is going on? You know, it's that mass instant confusion. You're like, whoo, ace of cups reversed. I'm pulling my cup off, off the shelf. And eight of wands, getting the hell out of there. Look at that fire energy. Yeah, you got out of there quick. You got, um, you physically got out of there quick. Mentally, I think you're still there with the eight of swords. Okay, your outcome is the two of pentacles upright, which is great. That's balance. That's balance because we got the nine of cups. Look at that. How you see yourself as the nine of cups in your outcome, clarifying the two of pentacles is the nine of cups. You're only, I think this is you guys investing in yourself, to be honest. I don't think this is about new love, nothing like that. I think this is Scorpios investing in themselves, uh, investing in their future, working hard, getting their mental balance back, and nine of, nine of I would say nine of fears, <laughs> the nine of wands. And you know what I like about this card is bravery because he's scared. He's not afraid to even show that he's scared, but he's not letting them stop him from moving forward. Whatever you, what happened to whoever I'm reading for, whatever happened, probably sh shook your foundation, shook your faith, but it didn't stop you from moving forward. It didn't stop you from pursuing your dreams and pursuing your wish, your wish fulfillment. Because the Nine of Cups says, and you got it twice here, that wish fulfillment is yours, if, if not already. Like you're already there or you will soon be there. Because you're investing in yourself now, into your, into your own future. You're not worried about other people and their future unless it's kids of course but yeah you're i love this is um yeah lovers reversed on that nine of wands it's just a disconnect i think this is you guys kind of disconnect from the dating world and judgment judgment just did you guys see how it toppled out of my deck so so carefully because <laughs> you guys learned and with judgment being here this is this is you guys coming back to life. I mean, if you see the angel, I think that's Archangel Michael it might, it might even, or no, that's Gabriel, uh, blowing his trumpet, golden trumpet. And it's people rising from the dead. And what are you, Scorpio? You guys are the Scorpio card. You're, you, you are literally the phoenix rising from the ashes, right? This is a call to, to get back into life. This is a call to get back into who you, what used to move you, what, what motivated you. And to get back into love, into who you, you know, who you are, essentially. Define that. It, it, this is a new beginning. The old, the old shit is over, and now you're heading toward new beginning, reborn, rebirth. It's, it's, it reminds me a lot of the, the death card. It really it is. And what that is saying, especially since we have your card here and we have the judgment, this was a very faded situation. This was something, unfortunately, if you believe in the reincarnation, this is something you signed up for, if you can believe it or not, to put you on a higher path, to put you on a path to your higher self, basically. And when you're on a path to your higher self, when you're aligned to yourself, that's when you're fulfilling your soul's purpose, and that is, leads to true happiness and abundance, right? Eight of Pentacles reverse, Virgo energy. You're no longer going to work on these kind of situations anymore. I don't know why I felt like that is attached to the old energy. Can I get one more card where Scorpio's headed? Can we try to ignore this past energy? Because it is so icky. It really is so icky. Can I get one more card for the Scorpios? Oh, that's a good card to lean on. Capricorn, Queen of Pentacles. This is you taking care of your loved ones. If you have kids, you're just you're just worried about who and what matters. You, the queen of pentacles runs a home, runs a business. She's a, a, she's usually a mother. She's a wife, but this is just you making your own money, paying your own bills, taking care of your kids, taking care of your parents, your friends, and just having a good life. And I feel like whoever I'm reading for, I'm feeling like I'm feeling very single parenty or single energy because we got the nine of cups twice. So you probably have a, a, a good job. You probably do make good, you know, a decent income enough to support you comfortably and your family um and you're probably i'm getting really thankful for that and unfortunately this happened and it, because this is a leech people like this leech off of good you know good standing kind of people with good character hoping they you know these th these are pariahs these are pariahs of the human species world 
And yeah, so that's too bad. That's really too bad. But okay, Scorpios, that's what I have for you this week. It was like a telenovela, wasn't it? So I will, I hope you guys have a great week and a great week and I'll see you next week. Take care.